Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, the reason for this video is I've got a fishing trip planned for tomorrow and uh, it's my intention to fish the washing line method. So I'm going to show you the flies I intend to, to use and I'm going to show you how to tie uh, the point fly, which is going to be a booby. So this is my this is my setup I'm going to use tomorrow, or this, this is certainly the plan anyway. Uh, the way the weather looks, it should be ideal for buzzers. Uh, so on the, on the top dropper I'm going to have a, just a, a kind of skinny buzzer, this is just a general black buzzer with a wee bit of uh, an olive uh, thorax on it. Then you get a, a short, shortish uh, orange cheek buzzer, this one's got a gold rib on it, normally I use a silver rib. This one's got a gold rib, I'm going to try this one out. Uh, I've tied it on quite a big hook, uh, so it's on a size 10, uh, just a, a general wet hook. Uh, but that's more to get the fly down a wee bit quicker. As you'll see, I've tied it quite short on it. So we'll see how we go on with that. Uh, and then this is a, a fly that I've used pretty much every time I'm, I'm fishing the washing line method. This would be my, my point fly. Uh, and it's just a black booby with a, I don't know if you call that pink or red. It's a kind of pinkish reddish uh, head on it uh, for the for the foam, or the, the booby eyes. And it's got a pink... It's got a pink body on it, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's got a, a pink holographic tinsel body. So that's what I'm going to be tying for you today. Uh, and then hopefully uh, we'll get some footage tomorrow of me fishing it. And then we hopefully join the two videos together. And that's Bob's your uncle. So let's tie the booby. Uh, in the vise I've got a, a fully mill heavyweight champ uh, hook in bronze and it's a size 12. Uh, I've already tied some size 10s uh, this morning. I've got four or five sitting there. I'll, I'll tie four or five 12s up uh, and it will just depend on the conditions tomorrow as to whether I use the 12 or the 10. Conditions look uh, pretty good. It looks as if it's going to be four or five mile an hour wind so uh, chances are I'll be using the 12 but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so as you'll see, I've already super glued in there. I like to I like to do these in batches and super glue them in. Uh, just that's just the way I've always done it. Uh, so call it what you like. I don't know if that's red, pink. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I don't think the the eyes make a huge uh, a huge difference. Uh, so I'll just lay, uh, throw a, a layer of thread down. This is just a, a black sheer fourteen o thread that I use for most of my time. Uh, you can use any thread you like to be honest, uh, it's not going to make too much difference to the fish. Then you need some black marabou, uh, this is again Dave Downey stuff, uh, that's all I use anytime I'm using marabou, it's always Dave's. Uh, you don't want too big a tail on it, you want it to be quite quite a short tail, uh, or I like it quite short anyway. So I just snipped off. A bit, maybe, maybe two centimeters there. Maybe not quite as much as that centimeter and a half, maybe. Uh, and I'll just trim that away, trim the stalk away, pull away the fluff. Catch it in. Trim that way, as I say, quite short. Try not to take my vice with you. And then start to run the thread back down. Now I've got some pink holographic tinsel here. It's just an old spool I've had for a while. I uh, don't really use it much. It's, it's nice stuff, but I don't tend to use it much. 
Uh, sometimes there's, a, there's cheeks on buzzers, it's, it can be quite good. Uh, just catch some of this in at the side. Now, you can put uh, some tinsel or something through the tail. Uh, I tie them with it and without. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't think it makes much difference to, to the fish. I think uh, it probably makes more, more difference to us as, as fishermen. Uh, I'll stick some super glue on now. If I can get the lid off. This has been well used, this stuff. Just a tiny wee dot. Some that just helps protect the protect the tinsel that wee bit longer. And just wind up just slightly overlapping turns. That's not it. Can it wait? And then come back in with some more marabout. Same as, uh, pretty much the same as the tail. Probably about a centimetre's worth, yeah. Okay, and just fold it over. Trim the stalk away. Roughly the same, same size as the as the tail. That's about right. Just like that. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, and then we'll come in with some just some dubbing. Again, this is something you can use to change change the look of the fly. You can use different types of dubbins. Uh, I'm just going to use a standard black dubbin. This is just an SLF uh, dubbin that I've had. Just a black one. Finished them, just do it with hand. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You can make these as, as basic or as complicated as you like. Uh, certainly, when it comes to these kind of bigger, more kind of gaudy flies, uh, you don't have to be too neat and pernickety with them. They're just It's not going to make any difference to the fish. Different if you want to take a picture of it or put it in a competition or something, that's, that's different. But, uh, Aye, it's it's not going to be any different to the fish. So aye, that's that's the that's the booby there that I'm going to be using tomorrow. I'll try and let you see it a bit better. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up. So uh, it's it's a nice fly. And the fish the fish will take it off the top uh, quite often before it even starts to sink. That's something you can fish. You can fish it on. A, I'll be fishing it on a floating line tomorrow. Uh, Certainly to begin with, anyway. But if you wanted to fish it on an intermediate or a, even a dive, dive five, dive three, dive dive seven, whatever. Uh, I, I tend to just just the way I like to do things. I tend to leave the tail much much longer if I'm going to fish it more as a as a lure. Uh, you know, if I fish it on a sinking line, I just I just leave the tail much longer. It's just preference. It's just what I do. Uh, don't know why. So. Uh, Hopefully, 
I'll get some footage of me fishing with this tomorrow. Uh, and all going well, I should add it, I'll be able to add it to the, the end of this video. Uh, and uh, hopefully catching some fish in this, uh, this fly. So thanks very much for joining me guys. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the, the videos. Uh, and tight lines to you all. Cheers, all the best.
Fixed him in a minute. So let's take Why is going? 